Censorship in video games. That's been a rather contentious topic as of late. It's been brought up before, but more recently because of what Sony's been doing in terms of gatekeeping certain content for certain games on their platform, the topic has gained a lot of traction. So games that have been most afflicted by Sony's censorship policy are a lot of those niche titles that are adult-oriented, featuring, you know, skimply dressed anime girls and stuff like that. A lot of suggestive content. Most of the censored content isn't even super explicit, it's not like hardcore hentai or anything, but there is definitely suggestive elements there that involve either, you know, showing a lot of skin or girls acting all, you know, super horny or whatever it is. Now, the UK's rating board had a problem with some of these titles, though many other ratings boards like Peggy or America's ESRB didn't seem to have an issue. They just gave these games a mature rating and left it at that, but not the UK. So once the UK's attention was attracted, Sony themselves were like, oh, we can't have that, and they began enforcing their own regulations on what is acceptable content. So Sony, instead of letting each respective country's ratings board sort of take care of that aspect, they're starting to curate content themselves as a platform holder. The result is that when you see these sort of suggestive titles, being released on multiple platforms, the PlayStation version tends to be the one that's compromised. The one that's censored out where, you know, if it shows a lot of skin, there's gonna be like rays of light that kind of blatantly block all that out. Some of these titles also feature some form of interactive mode where you get to like touch and grope some of these anime girls, which, you know, I get it's not in everyone's comfort zone, but for a lot of these games, that interactive mode is a big part of the appeal, and a lot of fans of these types of games are upset that this aspect is being taken out in uh, Sony releases. Again, I'll emphasize a lot of it is pretty soft core stuff, nothing super hardcore, super explicit, but still, Sony's taken an issue with this type of content, whereas other platform holders haven't, really. This whole conversation then kicked up a notch when Sony's gatekeeping began to affect some recent AAA releases. So, Devil May Cry 5 is Exhibit A on that front. This was a game that faced some slight censorship. There was this one scene involving Triss, one of the characters in the game. She was, like, absorbed by a demon, and when you defeat that demon, this boss battle, Triss kind of gets spit out and she's fully naked and at one point Dante picks her up and the shot the camera angle there exposes her naked butt for like two seconds in the western release of Devil May Cry 5 the butt was essentially blotted out by this not so subtle lens flare that covered up the whole screen at that point gamers were like okay this is too much there is context behind why Triss is currently nude it's not super in your face it's not egregious in how they you know show Triss's naked body or anything it's just this one moment where her butt happens to be exposed because she doesn't have any clothes on because a demon frickin' absorbed her and spit her out. So yeah, it just seemed like a silly thing to blot out, and fans soon began to worry that this is going to start affecting other AAA titles. Now, as this topic has gained traction, numerous entities in the games industry have been asked about their thoughts and their stance on this whole debacle, and chief among them recently was none other than Nintendo. They recently hosted the 79th Nintendo Annual General Meeting of Shareholders. As part of that presentation, there is a Q&A session where attendees get to inquire about aspects of the company, their plans for the future, so on and so forth, and one of the questions asked this. About content regulation, on other platforms, there are cases of restrictions applied independently of Zero, which is the Japanese ratings board, and other third-party organizations. What does Nintendo do? To that, Nintendo responded as follows. Nintendo, as do third parties and their software, applies for an objective rating from third-party organizations prior to release. If platform holding companies choose arbitrarily, the diversity and fairness in game software would be be significantly inhibited. We provide parental controls that can be used to apply limits. In other words, Nintendo is basically committing here that they're not gonna engage directly in censoring out content from other people's games. They themselves won't interfere or gatekeep the maturity of content that can be featured on their platform. Instead, on that front, 
Nintendo is going to be reliant on each respective country's rating sport. So ESRB, uh, PEGI, Zero, whatever it is. As long as the ratings board is doing their job, Nintendo doesn't feel like they have to you know, add another layer of security to that. As Nintendo said, they believe that if platform holding companies can just arbitrarily choose what is allowed and what isn't, then there is some compromise in terms of diversity and fairness in games. And I totally agree with that stance. I think that the censorship that Sony in particular is engaging in does start limiting uh, expression. We've especially seen that with Devil May Cry 5, where something as arbitrary as a naked butt in a contextualized situation is kind of being deemed as too much. And hell, even for those titles featuring skimply dressed anime girls, I get that that's not in everyone's comfort zone, but, you know, I, I still think that developers should be able to express themselves in the way they want and appeal to certain crowds and niche audiences if that's what they desire. Obviously, there are certain lines that have to be drawn. There is such a thing as going too far, depending on the context and nature and how you present your content. But I do feel like many of these titles that Sony censored out, yes, it's kind of weird, it's, you know, sometimes involving interactive modes where you can grope anime girls and have suggestive interactions. But it never gets to a point where I feel like it's promoting harmful stuff. It's all very fantastical, kind of fantasy fulfillment. It's very silly and ridiculous. It's kind of very fake. You know, it's anime girls. This stuff is about as real as, you know, shooting people in games. You know what I mean? Like, But again, Sony hasn't just kind of targeted these types of niche anime girl suggestive type games. They've also targeted games like Devil May Cry 5, which certainly didn't cross any lines, you know, showing a butt, a naked butt for two seconds like that. How is that crossing a line? And look, it's not that people can't live with this scene showing Triss's naked butt. The butt itself is not the core issue here. It's more to do with the precedent that stuff like this can set for future mature titles. So games like Cyberpunk 2077, it's been made abundantly clear that this game will have no reservations when it comes to nudity. It's going to be presented in a way that makes sense thematically and stuff because, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 is all about transhumanism, about the body and, you know, changing body parts out, what it means to be human, and the flesh is a big part of that. And other times, you know, you'll see characters dumped on the side and they're fully naked and that creates a more horrifying image. Nudity is very much a form of expression and it can add certain emotions to certain scenes. You know, it's not just there to be like, hey, look, boobs. And by cracking down so hard on anything that contains some kind of nudity, yeah, that's that's gonna compromise expression quite a bit. It's also worth noting that if Cyberpunk 2077 isn't censored, then you've gotta wonder why Devil May Cry 5 was, given 2077 is way more explicit than Devil May Cry 5 from what I've seen already. And, you know, it, it just, there doesn't seem to be specific guidelines. There's no criteria to follow. Sony just seems to be arbitrarily deciding, oh, we don't like that, oh, but that's fine. And it's all very inconsistent, and it's kind of hypocritical in that certain games are allowed to have this kind of mature content, but when this game does it, that game gets blocked out or uh, be forced to change its content. It makes it hard for developers to know, you know, how do I make my game? Like, what's acceptable for Sony? How do I balance what I want to express versus what Sony's policies are? There was one game, I believe, that got delayed because they thought, oh, this, this is going to go through. This isn't super explicit. It's suggestive, but it's not super out there. Sony decided, no, that, that has to be changed. So they had to go back, redo some stuff, and the release date got pushed back in terms of the PlayStation release of that particular title. So yeah, just not a big fan of the way Sony's been employing this censorship policy. It's inconsistent and it's starting to become far too strict. They're starting to kind of uh, limit games where I feel like it's not needed. Now, I should know Nintendo isn't entirely innocent of censorship. So during the Wii U and 3DS era, Nintendo actually did censor aspects of their first party and exclusive releases. The Japanese version of these games were kept intact, but Western releases were tweaked and changed. So Xenoblade X, for example, for Wii U, this was a game that included a bikini outfit for one of the younger female characters in the game. 
in the Western release that was removed completely. And in the Japanese version, there was a slider to change your female character's breast size during character creation. That was completely removed in the Western release. Then there's Tokyo Mirage Sessions for Wii U, which is that Atlas RPG. So in the case of this game, there was underwear that could occasionally be seen in certain camera angles in the Japanese version. In the Western release, when the camera does show underneath the skirt, it's just like a black void. There's no underwear there. It's like the uh, hip area has been completely removed, essentially. And then there is this one dungeon in the Japanese version. It involved, like, the theme was, like, sexy modeling or something. And that's been changed in the Western release to be more about, like feeling good about wearing certain clothing or something like that. And then there are certain character designs that were also changed. So this one character here, I don't even see this as being super explicit or suggestive. And yet they decided to change the cloth in such a way that it covers most of the skin. It exposes less skin. And then there's Fire Emblem Fates for 3DS, which faced backlash because it removed this feature called petting mode, where you can literally pet any of the male or female companions that you've acquired throughout your adventure. Now, the mode wasn't, like, entirely removed. It's just the ability to take your stylus and literally, like, quote-unquote, touch and interact with them. That's the aspect that was disabled. So the mode became more of, like, a date sim type of experience. And that meant that the stats bonuses that you'd get from engaging with these characters this way would remain. But just the petting part, that interactive aspect was completely removed in the Western release. Now, do keep in mind, these are all titles that Nintendo themselves published. So when it comes to titles that actually represent Nintendo as a brand, that's when it seems like Nintendo will look more closely at, is this content culturally acceptable for this region versus this region? I think they're still gonna consider that stuff for their own games. But when it comes to third-party titles, Nintendo has committed that they're not gonna interfere in any way. And indeed, if you look at some of the more suggestive multi-platform titles, on the PlayStation 4 version, you know, you might see rays of light blotting out a suggestively posed anime girl with some skin exposed, but in the Nintendo Switch version, it's all there exactly as originally designed. So on one hand, it is cool that Nintendo's saying that they're gonna leave other companies to brand themselves however they want, that uh, they're gonna leave it up to ratings boards to determine whether content is appropriate. On the other hand, I do get the sense that if Nintendo feels like games they publish have to be dialed back for Western audiences, then they'll go ahead and do that, and that might prove to be contentious among core fans of certain game series. We'll have to wait and see, but this is better than what Sony's doing at the very least. Again, it's one thing for developers having no choice but to follow a country's specific rule sets when it comes to what is appropriate content. So with Japan, for example, Kojima had to dial back that Ground Zero's cutscene with Paz where her stomach gets opened and a bomb is pulled out from it. Witcher 3 in Japan, the violence is reduced and nudity, I think, is taken out from that game, which, uh, you know, is bizarre. So at that point, Kojima and CD Projekt, they had no choice but to do that for Japan specifically, because that was a zero decision, not a platform decision. But I feel like if Sony directly starts getting involved on that aspect, then a lot of people will kind of move away from PlayStation, you know? Like, why play a game on PlayStation if there's a chance that it's slightly compromised in terms of what it expresses? Why not play it on Xbox or Nintendo, where everything's gonna be kept intact? So hopefully that's something Sony considers and they dial it way back down and yeah, Nintendo is not going to interfere, and that's good to hear. So again, how they handle their own published titles, that still remains to be seen. There is a new CEO now and a new Nintendo of America president. I don't know if their stance has changed for self-published titles. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this topic. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what your take is on Nintendo's latest statement in regards to censorship. And let me know how you think Nintendo will handle self-published titles moving forward. If you think this statement about not censoring games only reflects third-party stuff, or if it also reflects Nintendo-published stuff. 
And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.